एक नेटिव कैलेंडर रेंज पिकर सो दिस इज़ द एप्लीकेशन वी आर वर्किंग ऑन इट सो को दिस इज द यूजर स्क्रीन सेलेक्ट दिस एंड दिस ना यू कैन सी स्टार्ट डेट एंड द एंड डेट लेट सी अगेन सेलेक्ट स्टार्ट डेट देन एंड डेट ना यू कैन सी यू कैन ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट लाइक दिस ओके ना यू कैन सी डेट इज चेंज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेलेक्ट दिस now you can select also this date 10 to 17 date we want to select this then this we are doing only one single click not double click or long press it's working very smoothly okay so let's get started okay so hello friends today we are doing react native date range picker okay so if you want to install react navigation library so you just need to run this command and now you can and then if you then you need to run this command yarn add react native calendar and the x date these two library you need to install then you need to run this command npx port install ios okay let's go to the code so first i am showing the the package file this is our package file we are using the latest version of the react native 71 okay these are the react navigation libraries bottom tab drawer native stack okay and texture reanimated save area context and react native screen and x state okay and this is the library which we are using right now react native calendar so you are not facing any issue related to installing this library it is very easy to install okay so then let's go to the code this is our app screen okay here we create our navigation container inside we are passing to screen only home and the user screen okay let's go to the home screen this is our home screen okay into this screen we are showing this text okay i show you we yeah, are go back we are showing react native code okay so this is the text we are showing here okay then we are showing the image of the calendar inside the view we are passing the image here and then we are showing the select button this is the select button select date and when we click on this it's navigate to the user screen okay so for this we need to implement this navigation dot navigate and we also getting this navigation from the props okay for the styling for the button styling you need to pass height width shadow and background color and align text into the center okay when we click on this we are going to the user screen let's go to the user screen this is the user screen okay so here we are showing the start date and the end date so for the start date and end date we are creating an state okay inside the state we have a object from to and date array if you want to show the error message here after the calendar you can also use this okay and this is the holiday list if you want to show predefined selected date here okay so you need to just pass array list into this so it also showing here okay so we are creating our date range picker custom component here okay inside we need to pass oh, it's returning on on success function start date and end date okay and we are passing here the holiday list if you want to show here the list okay predefined the list you want to show okay so you can use this and this is for the error message if you want to show any error here so you just need to pass the error here suppose i am showing here my code now you can see it's showing the error but it's not required right now so i just removing this okay then we are showing here the start date and end date so for this we are creating a view inside the view we have a text okay here we are passing the from date and for the end we are passing the get date we are getting these object from the states which we created okay now we need to discuss about the react native calendar range picker how we create this for this you need to go to this date date range picker okay let's go to this we have here we have okay so inside there we need to pass we need to use this library react native calendars okay and also we need to pass x date we are using x date for formatting the date only okay 
and momentum moment we also need to use okay for formatting the dates if you want to use then you can also use this otherwise if it, you don't want to use then remove this okay and then we creating an interface because we are we are using the type script so that's why we need to use the interface so inside the interface uh, we are uh, we are using the initial range on success and holiday so also we need to pass their data types okay so this is a function type this is any and this is array type and this is for the error message for success, success okay this these are the variables which we are using into this component then we just need to map this component with our class like this okay so we need to discuss about the calendar date pick, calendar so this is the library now we are using the horizontal list so you can also pass here false then it's showing vertically okay and if you want to hide the arrow just pass it here the false true like this now you can see the arrow is removed and we can also do swipe okay so i'm doing back again it's very simple and if you want to pass the height of the calendar so you can also pass it here and then we need to pass the design it is very important you need to understand the design how we need to pass it here so if you want to pass the calendar color white selected background color blue i'm passing here the blue color okay selected date color after selecting the date like this i'm selecting this date now you can see the color of the text is showing white okay the selected text color is showing white then arrow color monthly text color these these properties using for these okay month uh, calendar and you can also find these all the properties from the library here so this provide lots of property so you don't need to worry about for styling your calendar you can do by yourself other there are lots of library but they are not providing to customize your calendar okay so that's why i'm recommending this library you need to use if you want to customize your calendar okay then we need to pass here the custom because we are using the custom styling for the start date end date so we need to pass the marking type custom okay then <coughs> then you need to pass your mark date and the current date i'm passing here current date and this is the function on press when we are selecting the dates start date and end date okay and if you want to set the minimum date right now i'm passing here the current date with the minimum date so user cannot select these previous dates okay this uh, this is this text is showing for the error message okay so so we need to understand first so when we clicking click pressing this on when we selecting the start date so this function is calling on date press let's go to the on date press function okay here we are so in that case first we we are checking is from date uh, is selected true or not or okay first we need to check the end date end date is selected or not if it is not selected that means we are selecting the start date okay so i also create these states into the use state here this is for the end date this is for this is for the sorry start date end date and we are checking the middle dates of the start dates here and this is for if you want to show the predefined dates okay so we are checking these state values into the on press function let's go to there again okay here we are if right now we are selecting the start date so we need to we need to call this function setup start mark function okay otherwise uh, we need to we are going to select this from date for selecting the end date okay so let's go to the start date function first setup start date function we are going here so for the styling purpose we need to pass here only the date which is coming from the on press okay and we need to pass start date true then we need to pass the custom style for this okay for the custom style we are passing the container and the text let's go to the start date and the text style okay here we are start date we are showing the blue color border oh sorry width border radius left border radius top right and these style you need to pass you can also customize according to your need and same style we are passing for the end date okay this is this is style for the end date we need to pass border radius left right okay and bottom and this is style for this is style we are using the middle date style background color with border right with border color border top with and border bottom so you need to customize you can customize according to your need okay this is for the text and this is for the middle text style 
if you want to disable any date so background color of the disable date style we are passing here and this style for the error error message which we are showing here okay and this is the container which we are using for providing the shadow and height of the calendar you need to pass like this it is very simple so you don't need to worry about this let's go to the our date picker so with this help we are we are we are selecting our start date styling okay after user selecting this and now i'm going to select the end date so in that case in that case again this function is calling and now it's going to this okay start date end date is now is not selected so in that case this function is calling and in the okay so it's getting the state mark date value which we select from the start date okay and now we are calling this function setup mark date in this we are passing start date end date and if we have any mark date so we need to also pass this okay and and this function is for if we already if we select start date end date everything is selected okay so we are passing the start date end date is true and true and this is our mark date state and on success case we are passing this value to the home home screen okay uh, to know to the our this screen user screen we are returning these values okay into this start date and end date let's go to again this now the main question is this function setup start setup mark dates let's go to there so we have these values from day to date and mark dates okay so in this we are first formatting this with the help of x date okay then we then we are taking the difference of the start date and date okay if the dates are greater than the zero these difference is greater than the zero okay and if it is range is equal to zero then we are doing nothing okay then we are doing the full loop function because we need to design we need to provide the style every date okay so that's why we need to use for loop first loop is going to the 22 then 23 then 24 then 25 okay like this with the help of the difference we we get the range we are passing here then first index is going this and now with the help of this from date we are we are adding one date every time okay because our loop is um, our loop end is 25 so every time we are adding one date into the from date which is 21 okay now we are getting 22 okay when we are getting 22 date then we are passing here their style okay these are the middle middle style so 22 style we are passing and their text style then loop again coming here for the 23 we are passing their style again then 24 then end we are passing the style for the end date okay it's very simple if the range if the i value is less than the range value then we are passing these styles okay otherwise is going to the end date then we get the style for the start date end date and the middle date so it's very easy so same same in the use effect function we are using the same uh, logic if we want to set predefined predefined selected date okay so we, we are checking the from date and start date from the holiday array list and then same function we are calling like this set up start mark date okay hope you guys you understand very well what we are doing here okay so i show you again so this is the date calendar okay we have all the says holiday list and array again go to there we create the interface we have this 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 this, 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 this types then initial range okay if you guys want to take the screenshot please take a screenshot and then try it yourself okay because it's a too much time if i'm doing coding here okay so please if you like this video please like this video and provide your full support guys okay It's very easy i provide you the logic how we are doing here okay so you can also try by yourself it's not difficult and for the styling provided so this is the style the start date style 
एंड डेट स्टाइल एंड मिडल डेट्स स्टाइल टेक्स स्टाइल यू कैन डू एनी थिंग विद योर हेल्प ओके सो होप यू गाइज लाइक दिस वीडियो ओके सो प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मोर रिएक्टिव वीडियोज थैंक यू सो मच बाय टेक केयर